Good morning, everyone. Coming out, Coach Rick here, coming to you live from Seattle, Washington. I'm in a really beautiful and serene park here, and I happen to be up here for a few days working at a retreat for gay men called Men's Inner Journey. I'm really blessed to get to be a part of this journey this weekend. I actually did the journey myself a few years ago, and I have to tell you it was a phenomenal experience. It was definitely what I would call a game changer for my life help me really step into myself and see some of those fears and doubts and anger and just all that stuff that we tend to carry at times as human beings, specifically as gay men. So I just wanted to kind of share something with you today. As I was walking through this park, I got to thinking about what I know these brave and powerful men are about to go through over the weekend, and I really got to thinking about fear. What is fear and why does it come up so often for us as human beings? And as you start your day today, I really want you to think about what does fear mean for you and why does it come up for you? One of the things that I really got to thinking about was as I looked around at all these beautiful trees and plants, is what do they fear? They're breathing organisms just like we are. They take in water, they take in air, they grow, and eventually, yes, some of them die. But what do they fear, or do they fear? And what would it be like if we could be just like nature and maybe not have near the fears we do as human beings? For many of us, fear comes up when we think that we may be less than, or that we aren't going to be part of a group, or that we won't perform well enough and then that won't get us where we want to be. So again, I want to challenge you to think about what fears are coming up in your life for you right now, causing you to really stop what you're doing and not move forward in the things you really are powerful and able to do. And as you think through those fears, I want you to ask yourself one question. If this fear was no longer an active part of my being, my thinking, and my life, what else might I be capable of doing? pretty powerful question. So I know as I venture out to Whidbey Island and to the Marsh House Retreat, which is an absolutely beautiful location, that I'm going to have a lot of time this weekend to reflect and think about many things going on in my life because even as a coach, I still have a long journey ahead of me that is going to provide powerful insight to who I am, what I want to be, and how I do my life. So throughout the weekend, I hope to be sharing some of these things with you as well as I come to little moments that I get to spend alone, as I get to also help other men support themselves in the journey. So thanks for tuning in. And again, don't forget to ask yourself that question, what does fear really mean to me and why is it coming up and what would it be like if this fear was no longer an active part of who I am? So again, live from Seattle, Washington, coming out Coach Rick. Love to hear from you. You can visit me at my website, www.lifeincognito.com. That's L-I-F-E-I-N-C-O-G-N-I-T-O.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Go out and have a powerful day. And always remember to step out, step up, and step in to living your truth. Have a great day, everyone.